This is Lone Stag here for the first ever tutorial for iPodTouchHacks.com. This tutorial is entitled Detailed Instructions on How to Downgrade from 2.0 to 1.1.4. Okay, since you already have iTunes 7.7 to have 2.0, uh, what we're going to do is downgrade. So you're turning iTunes 7.7 .7 into iTunes 7.5. So first uninstall iTunes 7.7. .7. You're going to go to Control Panel, add or remove programs, and then down to iTunes. When it's finished uninstalling, you're going to click yes to the restart your computer. It's very important you do this, so make sure you do. Once your computer restarts, you're going to want to download iTunes 7.5, the link right there. For conveniences, I already downloaded it and I'm ready to run it. Now for some people, this will just turn fine. But for others, I don't know why, it's going to say the file iTunes library ITL cannot be read because it was created by a newer version of iTunes, which is true. So we're going to go to start search. And we're going to search for all files and folders. And we're going to search for iTunes library ITL. And there it is. And what you're going to do is you're going to delete that. And then you're good. And now you can run it again. Okay, this is what's going to happen. It's going to come up here. It's going to say that it can't be used. Your iPod is not able to be used because of the firmware it's on right now. What we're going to do is put it into DFU mode to get it out of that. And of course, it's pretty tricky. It's going to pop up say it won't work. So you need to turn your iPod off. And everyone should know how to do that. Hold power, turn it off. Not that difficult. Okay, the next step is a little harder and you have to time it and listen very carefully. What you're going to do is you're going to turn up the sound on your computer and hold power and home for 10 seconds. And when you hear the USB sound, you're going to let go of power while still holding onto home. So here we go. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. Let go of power and hold home. It's going to take a while, but it's going to work. You don't think it will, but it does. There we go. Let go. See, now it is in DFU mode, recovery mode. Nothing is going to pop up on the screen if your iPod. It's going to be blank, which is good. That means you did it right. If something pops up, you did it wrong, you're going to have to turn it off and then try the whole thing over again. Okay, now to restore, we're going to do Shift, Restore, and then go to 1.1.4 file, which is I have right here, but the link is on the post also. And then you have to let it extract and do its thing. And there you go. There's how to downgrade from version 2.0 to 1.1.4. It's not jailbroken yet, but you can read my post detailed instructions on how to jailbreak 1.1.4 at iPodTouchHacks.com, or you could request a video to be made on how to do it. One's not made yet, but if this turns out good, then who knows? This is the Lone Stag. 
Signing off for iPodTouchHacks.com.